Hello. So, we watched some videos on whether or not to buy this model. The higher HLP21N. <laughs> um, none of the videos were good, so we're making our own. We bought it anyway. Uh, came in a big box. It's pretty lightweight. Um, I don't know exactly what the weight is. It's listed somewhere. A little bit of assembly. Uh, attaching the hoses. It's just screwing them on. Shoving that hook tube in. Um, you have to simply put the wheels on and also screw in a base plate, which was super easy. There was some other step that I totally ignored about pulling the inside of this thing out. I have no idea what they're talking about because this thing does not come out. So, this is the maiden voyage. We grabbed some laundry. We're basically going to be using this because we're about to have a baby. And we figured there's going to be a lot of baby clothes to wash. So, uh, we're going to just give this thing a shot. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty compact, as you can see, next to the sink. It's shorter than the sink. And uh, we haven't even turned it on yet, but basically, this guy goes right into the sink for the drainage. This looks a little flimsy. I think we, you might have to be careful how how much you slam it and how much how rough you are with it. Got a three pronger. There is something in the instructions saying do not use a converter into a two pronger. And then this guy did cause a little bit of a, a splash on us <laughs> earlier as we tested it. We have to put this. Yeah, this guy. Uh, it was all attached. I, I, I already screwed this guy in. So I had to unscrew the, 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 the previous, whatever you call it, put this new one in. And then there's this nifty quick release thing. So that you pull down, and then it's supposed to just snap on, which it's not doing. There we go. I think that's good enough. So, uh,. <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> you didn't put the tap on so hard. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I'm soaking wet. That's fine. But now we're in business. So, okay, uh, so make sure that's secure. <laughs> <laughs> you put the drainage tube in there. So yeah, that's really all it is. You got to screw this guy in. This guy already comes attached. Uh, screw in the nozzle. That's the word I was trying to think of and screw in the wheels and screw in this like bottom base plate and that's basically it. So then if you've got liquid detergent it says put the detergent in first then the water and then the clothes. Alright so we're gonna Ooh. fire them up. Okay so on. I guess we a medium medium do you think for this, yeah, this amount? Sure. And then um, is there a dispenser for the detergent? Or is it no, just, just a matter of pouring it in? Are you sure? Yeah, just toss it in. We're, we're, we're figuring this All out. Alright, so let's start it first. Get some water in there. Do we just do this, do you think? I have no idea. So we're doing a normal wash with a rinse and a spin. Okay, huh? so something's happening. Maybe it just takes a little time. Oh, wait, looking. the water's not on. <laughs> there we go. Now what happens if you lift the lid? Does it shut off like a... It doesn't. Which is handy, because as it's going, you can you can also fill it up, right? I got my camera wet. Oh dear. Alright, so let's put in a little bit of this detergent. So this barrel looks like a... Uh, I don't know. It's a bad size. It's like the size of a... It's like a little smaller than like a... Like a like an Oscar the Grouch trash can. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what the specs are. You can check it out on their website. <laughs> the specs, I think it says it here on the... But as you can see, it's shorter than our sink. It's smaller than our dishwasher. Let me show our dishwasher. Fun. Can you move your beautiful big belly out of the way? So you get a sense of how big it is. And then inside the barrel, it's, you know... It's that big. 
Alright, so our sink doesn't have the best water pressure, so that's actually not bad, considering. Okay, so it says that this estimated time is for normal wash, don't put me on camera, <laughs> is 35 minutes for a wash, rinse and spin. We obviously don't want to waste too much water, so the water level is important. Alright, we'll Got come back. In. You gonna toss it in there? Yeah, we'll Go toss it, it in and then we'll we'll touch base. We'll see how it goes. Later. If we haven't flooded the place. But you know, that's not bad. That's I mean, especially if we're gonna be ma using baby clothes mainly. They're only little clothes, so I mean that's a full wash. And we got this from Target for online for really what? cheap, like one ninety eight, something like that. It was it was just under two hundred bucks, all for this little man. Okay, and then we lower the lid, and let's hope we have success. All right, we'll come back in a minute. <laughs> so about. Five, five, 60 seconds after I stopped filming, it started spinning. So I guess it doesn't take much for a medium water level to fill up. And I guess it's like, yeah, it's two thirds the way up. Pretty quiet. Yeah, it's not a full load. And um, it's very gentle, it looks like, too. It's not going to be too aggressive, although we'll wait and see the spin cycle. <laughs> oh, by the way, I should mention it did come with um, screw on feet. You have to unscrew if you want to put wheels on it, which I did, because we're gonna be wheeling it to and from the kitchen, uh, cause it's not gonna live here. We're just gonna wheel it like six feet over to next to the garbage cans, right in that little nook. It's about the same height as the garbage cans too. Um, we just, you know, don't wanna have it sitting here. Um, so I put it on the wheels. It does move a little bit. I wonder what happens with the spin cycle, maybe? Yeah, everybody keeps asking about the spin cycle, and that was the biggest question of ours, because we live on the second floor of an apartment building, and we are wondering if this is going to cause uh, yeah, havoc with our downstairs neighbor or not. May need some sort of mat. I don't know. It does say, yeah. in, the, it does say in the instructions to put it down on a hard surface, so we'll see. Okay. We'll see when we get there. I'll check back in with you when it's spinning. Do you think there's enough water in there? It's a medium cycle, sure, why not? But it doesn't look like the, the top stuff's been wet. I think you might be right. So should we just do this? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, you're just holding it down? What if you just change it to high? It might change. What if you hit the cycle? Look. What does that mean? That's a heavy cycle now. What do you want it on? What, what? This heavy is fine. All right, I just changed the cycle in the middle of, of it going, because... Because the water didn't seem quite high enough. Like, it looked like clothes weren't getting wet, even. Yeah, it wasn't See, quite over the top. this is quite dry, so... Obviously, you know... All right, I just... For a medium-sized wash, you probably still need to do a high water level. I just improvised, and it rolled with it, so that's, that's a good sign. So we just changed the cycle button here, and it went from normal heavy and then started Well if I hit it again will it go to normal? Maybe. Yep. There we go. So now it's normal. Oh but it's on medium maybe. Hey, honey, what are you doing? Just leave it. No what are you doing? I'm That's trying. fine. <laughs> oh my god. I want to get it back to high. Well then you gotta you gotta change the cycle to heavy. There we go. Oh okay. Crazy cat. <laughs> Getting yelled at by the wife. On video. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Doesn't look very sudsy. Did I put enough detergent in, do you think? I didn't see how much sudsy you put in. How, many, how much did you put in? I just put in, like, a tap. Which is right, isn't it? I have no idea. Alright, so know. let's... Alright, oh, don't slam this. I didn't right. slam it. I gently placed <laughs> it down. I think this looks pretty flimsy. It's plastic, and it's got some scratches and stuff on it already, so I would be careful with this lid. What scratch? What are you talking right about? Right there. It's already scratched. You're out of your mind. So I would just be careful how rough you are with this, you know. And it did come with some some kind of slimy stuff on it. Didn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I guess it was, it was like some packing, sort of oil packing or packing slime. Packing slime. So you might want to use a little bit of a 
Windex on it or something. All right, this video is amazing. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get back to you when it's spinning. I don't think our video is much better well, than the, the rinse, other videos. The rinse is different too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My estimation is that our downstairs worry. neighbor would have no idea we're doing this right now. I would just say if if you if you overload it and and it's not um it, it's not it's not distributed evenly that would be when it would start getting rickety. It's not often you look at laundry being done through a clear hood, so this is kind of fascinating and boring at the same time. <laughs> but don't slam it. I know. You've already slammed it. I already it slammed it times. twice. Twice. <laughs> Getting yelled at. This thing has like a spring-loaded lid. It, it like closes on its own. So if you just give it a tap, it'll come crashing down. I feel like. Our sink drained by itself. I did not have to flip the uh, disposal after all. A bigger unit might have caused a problem though. So we're we're lucky we, we chose this size actually. That's what she said. <laughs> all right. Big isn't always better. I will show you the final spin cycle and call that a day. <laughs> if you've made it this far. <laughs> okay, so that's a really quick rinse cycle. Um, it's now emptying out, but the water's running clear, so that's a good sign. It means that it washed really well. So we're actually off, off the rinse cycle now, so I'm recording. Oh. And you're talking about your sausage. <laughs> My spicy Italian sausage that I just ate with sriracha. It was very hot. So this is filling up pretty, pretty well. So as I said before, it's probably best that we didn't get a bigger unit that used more water because our poor little sink wouldn't have handled it. This is a standard American-sized sink for an apartment. That's the same size sink as a house. So it does move a little bit. Would you like to step your water retained feet out of the shot for me? Because <laughs> I know you're getting self-conscious about it. Your beautiful hobbit water retention feet. That matches your beautiful pregnant so, I mean. Belly. It's pretty good because it obviously really gets rid of any excess water, so to dry, even though we don't have a dryer, I would say it'd be a pretty quick, quick process in terms of hanging it up to dry. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting your belly. I think this was a successful buy. That's all I can say. I think so. It seems like it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Let's see how long it lasts. Okay, well that just started. Uh, it's kind of noisy. <laughs> Make it stop. Okay. That just stopped on its own. So clearly, if something is a little bit off balance, some really annoying knocking occurs, but it just seemed to self-correct itself. Interesting. I don't know what's going on yet. I haven't tried. Okay, so at least it stops when you lift the lid, and then maybe it's a matter of just kind of... See, it's all tangled up. Oh, jeez. This is so <laughs> tangled up. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? I guess it's, there's a lot of, Look sorry. At this. I guess there's a lot of like straps and stuff on the dress. It's like when Chevy Chase opened the uh, Christmas lights box. <laughs> so oh I gosh. guess if you need, if it's making that much noise, just that is kind of really tangled up. Re 
re kind of configure it a little bit. Yeah, put that down. I think well, these are all very strappy that's things. That's strappy. Yeah. So that's Jeez. better. It's pretty dry though. Don't slam. I did slam it. <laughs> it's pretty dry. I gotta say. So then you have to, I guess, press it again. No, it's doing it. It'll just. Will it? Yep, it's gone. That's better. Is that finished? What did you do? I don't know anything. Did you move it? Maybe it stopped? I don't know anything. But I mean, it's still pretty dry, so maybe you could cut the spin cycle a little short. I wouldn't do that. Well, that was only about, I don't know, two minutes? It wasn't that bad. Might be annoying for your neighbors for two minutes, but... It's still going, though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Huh. All right. Wasn't all peaches and cream? I don't even know if it's done yet, though. Best video ever. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. I think it's done. I mean, it's actually pretty dry. It sounds like it's done. That looks like it's done to me. And then you just press it off, right? Are you sure it's done? Why'd you do that? I wanted to see if it was going to do anything else. <laughs> but I, it feels good. That, that feels like a normal... Okay, so the spin's a little loud. But it only lasted two but minutes. But it only lasts... And this is really dry to the touch. This is like, pretty obviously normal. Obviously, it still needs to... Dry. This, this just needs to go into the dryer. Probably could do with the basket as well. All right. And so that. We'll turn this off. Yes. Quick release careful. that. Yeah, careful with that. Oh, jeez, that just that can happen. Braid everywhere. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why the water off is a much better option. <laughs> and then maybe let it drain a little before you. Put it somewhere that you don't want to get wet. I guess that's that. Now I can just unplug it and wheel it over back into the corner where it belongs. Alright. And that's the end of our unboxing video. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's, it's a good size. It's like the size of uh, our garbage cans. Just uh -huh. give you a little idea of scale. That's a chair. It's about the same size as a chair. And that's our video. Best video ever. Are you happy with it? Professional. I mean, are you happy with the washer? Yes, I okay. think it's going to be great All right. for small loads. Wife approved. Off a baby. That's enough. Too much whiskey.